Hello everybody, I'm Gary Crosby, I'm an action coach, business coach. Today I want to look at the very fundamentals of finance in your business. How does the money flow through your business? We're going to take a look at the profit and loss statement. So let's have a quick look at the profit and loss statement. We're going to start with the headline figure, the top line if you like, in every single business and that is your revenue. Now you might hear people referring to this as sales, some people talk about turnover, the terms are interchangeable. In this company, the revenue, the amount of money taken from customers for products and services is £66,000. Now for most businesses, there's a cost in delivering their products and services, and we call that the cost of sales. Now if you're a shop, this will be the cost of your stock that you need to buy before you can sell it on. If you're a tradesman, this will be about the labour and the materials you use when you deliver your work. In this particular business, the cost of sales is £24,000. That comes the first important number in the business, and that is your gross profit. And to calculate your gross profit, we simply subtract the cost of sales from the revenue. So in this business, the gross profit is £42,000. Now from this money, you'll then start to pay your expenses in business. Sometimes you might hear people referring to this as overheads. These are all the fixed costs in your business that you have to pay regardless of whether you sell any products or services. Things like your rent, things like your wages, things like your insurance, your mobile phone, your IT, all of those kind of things, they belong in expenses. And in this particular business, the expenses are £28,000. And we come to the final important number, perhaps the most important number in the business, which is your net profit before tax. And in this business, that would be fourteen. Pounds. Now the important thing about these numbers is not just that you know where to find them in Sage or QuickBooks or Zero, but they change your behaviour as a business owner. So for example, you'd start to think about which direction you want these numbers to move in. What can I do with my marketing sales to make this number, the revenue, go up? What can I do if I get a special deal with my suppliers maybe to make this number go down? Because if I do that, this number up, this number down, my gross profit is going to be higher. And that's a good thing in business. And I recommend this to all of my clients, that you should spend some time looking in detail at your expenses and uncover things that you might not be expecting. Are you paying too much in bank fees or too much for advertising? Do you have any subscriptions for things that you no longer use? You should be driving down the cost of your expenses to the maximum extent possible, because that will lead to higher profits in your business. So that's just a quick look through profit and loss. If you'd like to learn more about that, then get in touch. I'll have a look elsewhere on the channel for some more business tips.